Hello, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing the card game called Drawing Without Dignity. I do not have the box. I don't know what happened. I must have accidentally thrown it away, but it doesn't matter. I have all the important things like the instructions and the actual cards. So uh, it says a game of uncensored sketches definitely for adults only. It does have some um, interesting language and interesting images. So I am just going to show you this so that you know what to expect. Um, and if this is not your cup of tea, then this would be a good time for you to click off the video. So the game says foreplay, setting it up. This is the rules. I don't have the box. Divide into teams, up to four teams total, with two plus players on each team. Roll the die, the die, dice, whatever, to see which team goes first. Uh, distribute three. I'm going to have to say it because, I mean, there's no way to, like, kind of clean this up. Uh, distribute three cock block cards and a categories reference card to each team, as well as paper and pencils, which they do supply you with a little notepad. Put all the content. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No. Nope. That's my dog trying to get on my couch, but no. We bought a couch just for the dogs, so yes. Okay. Anyway, distribute the three cock block cards and a categories reference card to each team, as well as paper and pencils. Put all the contents cards face down in a pile within reach of all teams. How to do it, the basics. The first team selects their first artist. Roll the dice to determine the category. Pick the top content card and secretly find the word or phrase that matches the number on the dice. Start the timer and sketch the word or phrases from the card. The artist cannot speak, use numbers, letters, or gestures. If your teammate guesses it correctly in time, keep the card as a point and go again with a different artist. If your team doesn't, play continues clockwise to the next team. The steal. Teammates didn't guess the answer in time, question mark. Once time is called, the first team to shout out the correct answer immediately wins the point. Be careful you only get one guess. Regardless of which team might get the point, play continues clockwise from the original team. The cock block. If you know the answer to the other team's drawing, you can get it in on their action by yelling cock block or throwing down one of your cock block cards. Now your entire team can jump in with as many guesses as you need during their turn. If you guess it correctly before the other team does, your team steals the point. Place the played cock block card in a discard pile. Play continues clockwise from the original team. The orgy. Rolling a six starts an orgy and all teams get in on the action. Each team chooses an artist. Roll the dice again until it lands on a number other than six to select the category. All teams draw the same word or phrase at the same time. The first team to guess the answer correctly before time runs out gets a point and one played cock block card from the discard pile. Teams may have up to three cock block cards at any time. If the original team wins, they get another turn. If they do not win, play continues clockwise from the original team. The climax, how it ends. Stamina, it's taking stamina just to get through these instructions. The stamina version can last all night long, if that's your style. Play the game until everyone is worn out. The team with the most points at the end wins. Just as with other enhancement aids, if gameplay lasts over four hours, we recommend you consult your doctor. Haha. -ha. The quickie. Don't have time to go all night long? If you want to play the quickie version, the first team to earn 10 points wins. Multiple quickie rounds can be played to stretch out a game night to your liking with the obligatory... Obligate... I can't say it. Obligar obligatory? Obligatory. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Refractory period between rounds to refresh your beverages, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, reload your wad. Okay, then. Blow your paper wad and need to reload. If you're fancy, go to our website so they can they tell you where to find them on uh, Twitter and such. 
those are the instructions. Here's the pad that it comes with. Um, it does come with pencils. I like to use pen. And then you get these different cards. You get a few, not many, cock block cards um, with <laughs> different um, drawings on them and different sayings. This one says, Sugar Daddy, I happen to have a big black credit card. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Um, the third wheel, you must be Sarah, Caitlin, Ashley. Nothing quite like that when a guy introduces his new partner to uh, his friends and the friends don't know the woman's name or person's name because <laughs> this their friend happens to have a lot of other friends. You know what I mean? The ex, maybe she'll give you the herpes too. So <laughs> the tampon, it's a crime scene down there. The cougar, older women know things, honey. Well, that's me. I'm in the over 40 crowd. The little sister, mom's tired of waiting the car. She says it's time to go. Damn it. <laughs> Baby mama drama, you ain't got enough money to knock her up too. So obviously these are not for everybody. Dad, this isn't going to end well. Uh, family reunion, you're hot. I'm your cousin. Cock block, beefcake. My man meat is even beefier. Oh, God. My, oh, God. I can't. I just can't. Those are the cock block cards. These are the category cards. These cards tell you if it's going to be a person, an action, a thing, a location or event, or miscellaneous. Okay, that's what these get what four of these cards they also the same thing and then you get the big pile of cards that look like this they say uncensored and they give you different things like this one says drag queen colonoscopy butt implants wet spot stick up your ass yeah I'm 100% telling you that's what it says um, this, no, I mean, some of, some of these are like, you know, this one says pussy hound, cock block, roofie strip club hangover. So again, this is not the game, um, for family night necessarily. And it's certainly not the kind of game, um, you want to play if you're easily offended by certain types of terms or words. Uh, this one says, Dr. Kevorkian, Sex in the Back Seat, Dingleberry, Snail Trail, and The Clap. This one says Candy Ass, Flickin' the Bean, Hemorrhoids, Dick Measuring Contest, Boobs for Beads. So you kind of get the point. Um, I'm not going to go on and on and on. You get the point. I think by now you know if this is your kind of game or not. You can find it on Amazon. And that's about it. Once again, this was Drawing without dignity. All right. Thank you for your time. And until next time, take care and much love.